Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Natalie's at Dawn. I'm your host, Shed, if you're a 333, and today we're going to have possibly a bit of a shorter stream, but I'm going to start out anyway with a game between Vistrisium and Dawn. I casted a match of Vistrisium the other day, or on Saturday, and I, I realized at the time, of course, Vistrisium just came back. They're kind of rusty. This looks like it's a bit of a later match that was done, not sure entirely when, but sometime... No, I do know entirely when. Two days ago. It was done on Saturday. No, on Sunday. So it was done, yeah, a couple days ago. Or was it? No, it would have been earlier than that. Anyway, the point is, it is a match from, sorry, four days ago. So it's from the 20th. A couple days after the one I did on Saturday. Not sure I'm giving all this detail, but yeah. So this is a bit of a newer match. It should hopefully be a bit more representative of how they're playing. Although I thought they didn't play terribly. Anyhow, Vistrisium going for Amphib, Don going for Gunship, and this is on Doom Patrol, which I haven't shown off a whole lot. It's kind of deceptive. The map is actually pretty flat, but it's also really large. It's a bit larger than it looks, and these hills aren't very vehicle pathful, so usually you'll see people go Hovercraft in this map, though it's a bit tricky just because the Hovercraft-Amphib matchup tends to be a bit weird. Ducks with their homing weapons against daggers, ducks usually win. Although, honestly, I don't know. People don't tend to use hovers much anyway. This is not very popular nowadays. Hovercraft really have kind of fallen off the radar. We saw a couple games recently played where they were tested around a bit, but yeah, usually on a map that's mixed like this with... This is actually relevant, with the water in the middle. Amphib is generally the factory of choice, but we are seeing Gunship as his opponent, which is kind of tricky. I mean, Don's doing this probably because, well, Gunship is powerful and you can go around very easily. Not that there are a lot of terrain obstacles on this map, but still, Gunship's kind of powerful. The problem, however, is Don did start in a very out-of-the-way position, so they're behind economically. Vistrisium getting their economy set up relatively rapidly and safely. They don't know what Don's up to, but at the same time, Don can't do all that much, and Vistrisium has got homing, missile, firing units. So Vistrisium is going to have a much easier time, I think, setting up and getting going than Don will. I mean, as soon as they see the Banshees, they'll know, well, okay, Don, you might want to not do the Banshees, honestly, but at the same time, if you go Rapiers, then boys will come out. So it's like, that's kind of the problem, is that Ducks can get rid of Banshees moderately competently. It's not the easiest thing. Like, it's some, I think Banshees can kind of dodge Ducks but yeah, it's not... Yeah, see, so ducks don't deal a huge amount of damage, but they're still able to hit Banshees relatively reliably. So, Banshees are still not in a bad position. It's just, we're probably going to see Scallops. We are going to see Anglers, for sure. I mean, that's what we're seeing right now, and Anglers are also a really good choice. But if Rapiers come out, Boys are also a good choice. So, honestly, we're going to see a lot of good anti-air coming up, and anti... Well, mostly anti-air, but hopefully we will see Boys as well, because those do a good job against Rapiers. And they're also just good when Don goes for the inevitable ground switch, at which point anglers will be pretty much useless, but everything else will still have a purpose. And that's where the anglers get really scary. So one Banshee down without any real issue. There's no problems there. One Banshee down, no opposition. Second Banshee about to go down. The angler is going to reload, get rid of another one. And the Lotus is doing a fine job. One of the Metal Extractors down, but at the cost of three Banshees, Vistrisium is way ahead right now. Don kind of went for cheese, and that cheese kind of failed. But I think Don still has a chance. There's not any real pressure coming in from Vistrisium. If Don goes for a ground switch, yeah, it'll take them a minute or so, but they've got a decent amount of storage. They have enough economy. They can just build up a factory within a minute. It's not the best thing in the world, but it should work. It's just the gunship plant's not going to do them any good right now. And they're actually going for cranes, so they're... Are they going to be going for heavy expansion? I did not expect that. I was expecting... Well, like I said, go for ground switch. Either go for Amphib himself, or... Go for... She should deal with ducks. I mean... Scalpels aren't bad for dealing with ducks. Not great. Halberds are pretty good for dealing with ducks, just because of the reload rate. And we're going to see Cloakybot Factory. Oof. 
Well, okay, that might work. The problem with the Cloakybot Factory is that Glaives die one shot to ducks. So it's really hard to get Glaives to work. Now, anything else? Sure, that'd probably be okay, though. I wouldn't recommend Warriors either. Rocco's could be fine, but ducks have a speed advantage. This is not a good matchup. Or at least it's not one that's been explored in a way that Cloakie has been found to have any easy tools. Like, if Cloakie works in this matchup, it is an uphill battle. So I can see Vistrisium basically just steamrolling at this point. Don did go for the switch. They do have Cranes essentially doing ninja expansions, which you kind of expect at this stage. I mean, Vistrisium, I guess, figures Don is pretty vulnerable, and they're about right. Want to go for timing attack. Scythe coming out, which is a good-ish choice. It's probably the best choice that Don can make. Because really, if you think about it... Oh, I see. Don's construction's on priority. If you think about it, the problem with the ducks is that they can just hit before any real damage is dealt. It's the alpha problem. Like, they have such higher... A much higher alpha than anything else. Getting a scythe out there, getting up close, hitting the ducks a couple times, the ducks can only take, like, two hits, two swings from a scythe. So that does provide a bit of respite, but it's not much. And not to mention the fact that there's... Well, a lot of Don's forces being, or a lot of Don's economy being spread out, and none of it going to the military. Vistrisium, on the other hand, building up pretty consistent military. That they have enough to deal with anything, pretty much, that Don has. Don has nothing. So, yeah, Vistrisium can steamroll at this point. Don doesn't really have any way of getting expansions up in a reliable way. They're not going for units to try to block off the army coming through here. And the ducks taking a bit of damage, but ultimately not getting all that hurt. And given that Vistrisium has a healthy economy, this is really bad failing cheese for Don. Like, they tried with the Banshees, but that did not work at all. Which I feel kind of bad about, honestly. It's It always kind of sucks when cheese fails like that. And cheese doesn't usually outright fail in 0k. 0k is a pretty resilient game overall. Usually, if you go for something like that, switching out of it into something like, well, Cloaky, I guess, the ground switch, that's not hard. That's fairly possible. And the tick is a good idea, but where's the follow-up? I mean, there's a bunch of tick coming out, but nothing to follow it up. The defenders are okay, but really, there needs to be actual units. I mean, tick glaive, while risky, is something that's a follow-up. Tick scythe? That would work pretty well, actually. That'd be a very effective follow-up. But no, it's pure tick, which has no follow-up, and thus has no real way of getting out. So yeah, I mean, I understand. This is tough matchup. I don't know why Don elected to go for Cloakie Bot and not Shield Bot. Even though Banas aren't great against Ducks either, they at least survive one hit. But Don's commander goes down, and that should probably call it. I think Don's gonna, just going to throw in the towel at this point. I mean, Vistrisium, they have a much larger economy. Yeah, there we go. That's the GG. Bit more one-sided than I expected. Wow, I thought that Dan had a chance, but apparently Dan just went, nope, i going to go for the cheese, and then that didn't work out, and then Dan just sort of stopped. Went for the ground switch. Like, there wasn't really a whole lot they could do for going for a cloaky switch. At least the way they were trying to go. I think if they had just either gone still whole hog for air and just tried to harass around the sides, which wouldn't have worked super well, or gone whole hog for ground, even reclaimed the gunship factory, built up power plants, and then not used the builder to basically throw itself away over to the north then they might have been able to hold off the Stresium, but it would have been a long, hard-fought battle. So, that's kind of unfortunate, but that's the thing that happens if you go for early Banshee attack on a map that doesn't really have the choke point setup to allow for early gunship start to be relatively safe. A lot of maps do, this is not one of them. Anyhow, next match is going to be hopefully a little bit more even. Felthos versus Orphelius on Valus Meroneris. That is going to be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.